Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating this quiz website using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. In the previous video, we completed the functionality of this quiz, except this uh, time functionality over here. So, in this video, we will add the time feature. So, we will have 10 seconds for each of the questions in our quiz. And after 10 seconds are over, the next question will be displayed. And we will have five questions in total. And uh, now we have already coded the functionality of the quiz results screen. And this is how it looks. So let's go ahead and start with this time functionality in this video. Let's get started. Right here, I'm in the source code. And before starting with the functionality of the timer, First of all, I'll just make this responsive. So I'll just make a simple change over here. So if I go to the smaller screen, here we'll just display all these options one below the other. So here I'll just add a media query. So I'll just type add media. And let's set the max width to 700 pixels. Now here what we need to do is we need to select the container of all the options. So here we can see that we have this division of the class of options. And in that we have all the options. So we have set it to display of grid and we are setting the grid template columns to 1fr, 1fr, which means two columns. So let's copy this selector from here. And uh, I'll just paste it down here. And here I'll just type grid template columns. And uh, let's set it to just 1fr, which means just one column. So now if we go back to our quiz, now we can see that all these options are one below the other. And if you go to larger screens, we have two columns in a row. So now this is completely responsive. Now let's go ahead and start with the functionality of the timer. So let's go back to our JavaScript file. And uh, the first thing we will do is we'll create a variable. And uh, let's create a variable called timer interval. And now let's go to the create question function. So here we have the create question function. And here we are creating the questions. So we are creating the HTML of these questions and these options over here. So let's start the timer in this create question function. So the first thing we will do is we'll clear all the previous timers. So for that, we can just type clear interval. And here we can pass the interval name. So we have called it timer interval. So let's type timer interval. Right now, let's create another variable and uh, let's name it seconds left and uh, we'll just set it to nine right now let's reference this uh, timer division so if you go back to the index.html file here we can see we have this division with the class of timer so let's type const timer display i'll just call it timer display equals document dot query selector and here let's type quiz container timer Right now, let's go ahead and type timer display dot text content. And by default, we'll just set the text content to time left 10 seconds. Right now, let's create the actual timer. So let's type timer interval equals set interval. And here for the interval, we'll just set it to 1000, which is one second. So this is 1000 milliseconds, which means one second. So these lines of code will run every 1000 milliseconds. So here let's go ahead and type timer display dot text content. And we'll just set it to time left. And here we will add this seconds left variable. So let's type dollar symbol curly braces seconds left. Right now the next thing we need to do is we need to decrement the second by one. So let's type seconds left minus minus. Right now, let's go back to our website. And here we can see that it says time left. And here we also need to add seconds. So here let's type seconds. Right now, we can see it says time left 10, 9, 8, 7, and the time is decrementing. And after zero, we can see that it goes to negative numbers. Now, here let's add an if condition. And let's type if seconds left is less than zero. 
then we'll just clear the interval. So let's tap clear interval, timer interval. And then we'll just simply display the next question. So here we have this uh, function called display next question. So let's call this function. So here let's tap display next question. Now when we are less than three seconds, uh, we also need to display the time in red color. So let's add an if condition over here. So let's tap if seconds left is less than three. Then we'll just type timer display dot class list dot add. And if you go to the style or CSS file, here we can see that we have added this class called danger. So when we have the danger class, we will set the color to red. So let's tap danger. Now here in the beginning, we'll just remove the danger class when new question is displayed. So let's type timer display dot class list dot remove danger. And now if you go back, here we can see that the timer is running. And now we can say when we are less than three seconds, it turns to red color. And now we can see that the next question is being displayed. So the timer is working all right. Now here we can see that at 10 seconds, we have two digits and for all the other numbers, we just have one digit. So let's fix that. So for that, you can use a function called pad start. So for that, you need to first of all, convert this number into a string. So let's tap dot to string. And here let's tap dot pad start. And here we can add any value. So the first thing is the max length. So we need to have a max length of two and the filling string is going to be zero. And now if you go back here, we can see that after 10 seconds, we have the number zero displayed before all these digits. And in the beginning, I think this is set to timer. So we need to change this to time left. So now everything is working all right. Right now, let's go ahead and test this quiz. So here we can see we have the first question. So let's select one of these options and let's click on next. And here we can see that the timer has reset. And here we have the next question. And we can see that we haven't answered the second question. So we go to the next question after the timer is over. So let's select one of these options over here. And let's skip this question. And uh, now we can see that we have the result screen. So here we can see we have the first question which we answered correctly. And then we have the second question which was not answered. And here we have the correct answer. And then we have the third question and fourth and the fifth question. So everything is working all right. Let's try it once more. So let's select these options. And let's wait for this timer to end for this question. And for the last question, I'll just leave it as it is. Will not answer it. So now we can see here we have the result and we have the first, second and the third questions which we answered incorrectly. And then we have the fourth question which we answered. And we just left for the timer to go to the next question. And then we have the last question which we did not answer. So everything is working all right. So that's basically how you can add this timer functionality to your quiz using JavaScript. All right, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.